All right, guys, welcome to today's armed expedition. Today, we have a very special mission. I have to deliver the secret letter to a Yellowstone Ranger up in the mountain. Ever since the collapse began, there's been a group called the Yellowstone Rangers. They kind of work independently. However, their main job is reconnaissance and, of course, cryptid hunting. That, of course, is not my job. My job is just simply to deliver this letter to one of them up in the mountain. I do not expect to see them, as usually they are heavily camouflaged. However, I'm sure he sees me right now. He's going to be up in those hills and so my objective is just simply to hike up this path and into the mountains so let's go over the gear that i have of course i have my ever reliable nalgene 32 ounce water bottle now i do have a water filter as well which has been keeping this thing full as idaho where i live is a very wet place there's a lot of rivers a lot of streams so it's been no problem gathering water i got this nalgene before the collapse for 50 cents and i recommend you do the same nalgene water bottles are the meta they're very 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 good also if you want to support the channel <laughs> Go check out Civilian Expedition Outfitters in the description. This is the water filter I was talking about, the Survivor filter. These things are incredible. For just 80 bucks, you can grab one of these, and this thing has worked very, very well. Uh, it's not the fastest, but it is a very good uh, mid to long-term solution when it comes to water filtration, so highly recommend that as well. I, of course, have my mechanics gloves. These things have been serving me well for a very long time. Um, I don't know if I'll need to don these today, but it's good to have gloves in case you need to grab something prickly or gross or whatever. The chest rig I'm gonna be rocking today is the One Tigris chest rig. Review on this coming soon. Um, of course, I have it I'm kitted out a little bit more than last time. I have my Glock mag, a flashlight in here. I've got my Baofeng radio. Um, in this little admin pouch, you can't fit a lot, but I've got a compass in there. Um, my wallet, keys, and phone, of course, will be going in there as well. It can also hold up to four AR mags. There is a way to make it hold eight. Uh, my personal chest rig, it has not done that well. So um, yeah, we'll have to see if I'm able to make that happen. But for now, um, there is an extra magazine in there I'm gonna put in. It is carrying four on the chest and one in the gun, which for this specific Civic mission should be fine. So I guess we'll have to see. Of course, I have hearing protection and in the bag, I have some 22 long rifles from CCI mini mags and I have the CMMG conversion kit as well. The CMMG conversion kit is so inaccurate. It's hilarious. Um, again, review on this coming relatively soon. I'm able to squeeze about maybe four MOA out of this, <laughs> out of this conversion kit if I'm lucky. Um, so hypothetically for small game hunting, it might work. I guess we'll have to see. Of course, I am also carrying my Rush 24 backpack. Already did a review on this. Go check that out. I've got my tourniquet on there as well, and there is a medical pouch in the center pocket here. So it's all, it's honestly a little big for this mission, but I really love this bag. It's a good workhorse bag. Very, very nice. And last but not least, of course, is my trusty, beautiful AR-15. You'll notice the uh, flashlight is not on here anymore. Um, I had an unfortunate uh, waterborne operations incident, and it appears the budget Streamlight ProTac is not as waterproof as I thought it would be. So I completely stopped working no matter what I did to change the batteries or whatever. So I will have to replace that soon. Um, maybe I'll do a whole armed expedition where I go try to find a weapon light. It is very important that your AR-15, that your primary AR has a weapon light. So right now that's a pretty big detriment. So if things, if I am stuck out here overnight, um, I'm gonna have to get that flash flashlight out of my chest rig. So anyway, as far as the optic, I've got my, of course, Vortex 5X and my Hollow Sun 407C. This is a really, really great combo, especially if you're going for weight savings. And especially without the flashlight, I mean, we're looking at a sub eight pound gun. Uh, it's a very, very lightweight gun. We've got the Odin Works Rune handguard, the Magpul CTR stock, which is great. The Magpul K2 grip, which is also great. Please stop buying BCM. It's making me mad. I'm also playing around with aluminum mags. And so far, yeah, they're kind of cool. So yeah, anyway, I'm also gonna be taking my Casio F105. It's basically the same as the Casio F91, which was worn by famous fashion icons, uh, Barack Obama and Osama bin Laden. It's basically the same as those, except it's got a good backlight for when it gets dark. But this watch is completely bomb proof and it's probably my Gucciest piece of gear coming in at $20. Let's go ahead and get to our Ranger. Also, if you're looking to do some armed expeditions, some training exercises like me, I really recommend using soda cans. They're a very small target, which forces you to try and be a little bit better and a little bit more intentional with your shots. So yes, <laughs> it is convenient that I'm using this, but it's also, there is a pragmatic element to it where you don't want to necessarily be challenging yourself on IPSC targets all the time. Maybe you should be shooting at targets that are a lot smaller so you can become a little better. So anyway, let's get going. 
To demonstrate what I mean, here's some footage from a gondola hostage rescue mission I simulated just the week before. I was using a monster energy drink can that simulated a hostile duel. Got him. <sighs> Grape dwarf down. Gondola safe. All right, mission success. Let's get you home, bud. Anyway, let's get back to delivering that letter to our ranger. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna cut through. Man, those cows just keep going. You know, it is interesting to think about. Depending on how the collapse happens, it's entirely possible we'll be seeing giant herds of wild cattle. And those would be a really excellent food source, man. A lot of calories, a lot of protein. Uh-oh. Looks like we're gonna have some trouble. Looks like that's like a sheer cliff. Hmm. I really hope I'm able to figure out a way to get across that. Let's just see where this goes. Beautiful though, look at all the wildflowers. Good heavens. You know, granola girls and Instagram thoughts claim to love stuff like this. I don't see them out here. I'll tell you what though, I love stuff like this. Dang. Man, that's a straight drop. You see this? It's like a straight cliff. Oh, going up this is gonna suck. <laughs> That's gonna suck so bad. Man, I hope PNW Gorilla is proud of me because this, this looks difficult, but that's okay. This makes it fun. This makes it memorable. Okay, so this looks like a traveled path right here. So, yeah, it looks like we might be able to do this. Sick. <laughs> if you think going up a hill is hard, you should try going down a hill, especially a very muddy hill. If you guys are liking the content, leave a comment. Let me know what you would be taking on a mission like this through relatively hostile territory, knowing you're gonna have to be going down and going up pretty significant elevations. Let me know what you guys would be carrying. And every time you do a little armed expedition, a little training exercise like this, you should be figuring out what your takeaway is. My takeaway right now is that I definitely need to waterproof my boots. And, um, <laughs> As with every time I go hiking, it, it's so interesting. I wish I had a shorter AR. Like I wish this was a 10.5 or even maybe a seven inch 300 blackout, um, something more portable. And I walk away every armed expedition wishing I had that, which is so funny. Cause when I'm, you know, shit posting on 4chan or whatever, I'm always talking about 20 inch, how it's a superior barrel length. When I go out here, the last thing on my mind is a 20 inch M16. So yeah, I just need to lift more, but yeah, I wish, <laughs> I, wish uh, I had a shorter gun. I Definitely don't regret bringing an AR-15. I think if you're gonna be going through territory where, you know, someone shooting at you is a, maybe not, maybe not high possibility, but a realistic possibility. Yeah, you should absolutely be carrying the biggest gun you can, so. Never forget the words of uh, St. Clint Smith, right? When you're carrying a gun, no gun is too small. When you need a gun, no gun is too big. The trick is figuring out how you balance those two. And I think an AR-15, an intermediate cartridge rifle, I think that's gonna grant you a whole ton of capability. Oh, I refuse to get trekking poles. They just seem a little Reddit tier. They seem a little like Marvit, Marvel tier. I don't know why. I figured, I think I figured out a solution for going down the rest of this. So I'm using my AR back here and I should probably tighten up the sling, but I'm using that to brace off these giant logs. And I'm using this walking stick more like this impromptu walking stick to just kind of help break my fall a little bit. Walking sticks are based, okay? They're wizard tier. They're, uh, you know, they're just based, man. Don't get a trekking pole, get a stick. What's wrong with you? You're a grown man. Why do you, why do you have a trekking pole, you know? Get yourself a oh, freaking walking stick. You wizard pilled. Come on, the river and good news. There's a big tree that has fallen across the river. So, and it's not even that deep, actually. I could probably just walk across it. So that is great news, bad news. That is a cliff and I do not have rock climbing gear. So I'm gonna look and see if there's a way around that, see what we can do. But a little tip, if you're looking to do something like this yourself, especially if you're going on public land, you're gonna run into these barbed wire fences. Um, it's important to know that one of the biggest uses of public land is raising cattle. Understand these are not private property. 
fences, so I can go over there. I'm still in the national forest. This is still public land. This is still my land. If you're an American citizen, it's your land too. So yeah, just understand like, just cause you're in the woods, don't panic. You're not on private property. Obviously, if it is private property, they're gonna be good about putting up signage, at least in my area they are. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. Don't be too scared by barbed wire fences. Anyway, is this not just the most beautiful location on the planet? This would be a great place to go backpacking, do a little camping. Man, this is chill as frick. We got some cliffs up there. The good news is it looks like the cliff kind of goes away and turns into a hill over there. So I'm gonna filter some water, take a nice drink out of this cold, cold water and uh, get moving. Time to watch Schizo Saint eat shit for YouTube views. That is bad. Do you see this? Do you see this tangled mess? It's like I'm crossing barbed wire in World War One. <laughs> I'm a pretty big guy and I'm an even bigger and heavier guy with all my gear on me. So <laughs> yeah, the chances of that breaking are not zero, especially because this tree is freaking ancient. Okay. All right. I think the plan now I'm going to get on my butt, scoot over. Okay. There we go. Good to go. Okay. Over there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sick. We did it, boys. Yeah, I could probably could just cross, but that was more fun. I'm always looking for locations to share with my son one day, my family, you know, places that are off the beaten path and still beautiful. Obviously, you know, there's barbed wire fence, so it's not completely untouched, but look at this cliff. This volcanic rock is so cool. It forms like this like really fragile, I don't, I'm not a rock expert, but it just makes this super cool rock. I don't know, man. You have to either be really dumb or high IQ to appreciate rocks as much as me. Which one am I? I honestly have no idea. Look at this, this tree growing out of here. Dude, so sick, dude. Man, it's almost like the ruins of like a grand building or something. Like, look at that, it's just like a perfect brick. Like, if I was 10 IQ points dumber, I'd probably think this was a giant building. Guys, it looks like it is possible to get up this cliff. The hill kind of slopes down, so let's get to it, man. Let's do this. That'd be freaking, should not have left my walking stick. Yo, snake moment. Are you poisonous, Mr. Snake? We can be friends, Mr. Snake. You don't look like a rattlesnake, so I'm just gonna assume you're not. Ugh. Sick. And I can cross there when I'm done. All right, should be relatively easy. Just gonna go up that and then drop it off at the first power line. And then I'm gonna be home free. Let's go. He's probably never seen a person before. Man, I'd fry you up and eat you if I needed to, huh? Love you, snake. Not eating you today. All right, approaching the drop off point. Yellowstone Rangers, 20, whatever. Just perfect. Okay, job's complete. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little armed expedition, if you enjoyed this training exercise, please leave a comment, tell me what you liked. And guys, if you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. Love you all, please go in the woods, do this yourself, it's super fun. Have a great day.